Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Twit specials is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. We're live right now. Should I take off the earrings? We had a bit of a crowd here a moment ago, but then they see CNN uh, was over there. So, uh, I'm Anderson Cooper. Hey, we want to say hello to everybody. We are live from Lost, Boston, Texas. Yes. No, right. <laughs> that was exactly right. Yes. <laughs> I'm Leo Laporte with Tom Merritt, who is a native of Austin. Well, I'm not a native. Well, you lived here. lived here for six years in the right. '90s. It's kind of like Portlandia, right. you know. Right. The, the '90s never totally died here. Right. Yeah. yeah absolutely. And uh, Lisa Bettany from Mostly Photo and Mostly Lisa, and we're standing in front of meat roasting meat. All right, you two, get a room for crying out loud. I'm taking off the earrings. <laughs> so we've just finished dinner, as we did last year, at Fogo de Chao, which I don't know why I'm mentioning, because they didn't exactly give us a discount. But this is the, this is the meat roasting here that we, uh, we all just... We can't say who's meat. We can't. It's the Vorax meat. Um, now, uh, what we thought we'd do today, this is kind of our red carpet coverage of, of South By, right? Yeah, absolutely. There's uh, parties galore out there that we're going to go uh, hit and try to find who's at them and what's going on. This is the second time we've tried this. It didn't work so well last year, but we're going to do it again anyway. Uh, uh, where should we go? We should go up 6th Street, right? Yeah, we should go up 6th Street. There's a, there's, well, there's a Dignation party. There's a Foursquare party. I, I, what so here's the deal. We're starting at this end of 6th Street. At the other end of 6th Street is Stubbs, which is the barbecue uh, place where Dignation's event is going to happen. Right. We figure... From last year, uh, little pretty epic little something happened. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll we don't know what's going to happen this time, Tom. You're not wearing the backpack this year. No, no, no. it's not the same. Maybe we'll have him go. Are, your thumb mute's not on? are, you, uh, are you speaking? One, two, three, four. Her thumb mute is not on. Is not, yeah, it was on. So there's a little switch on here. If you turn that, then they My can't. My thumb mute was on. Her sorry. thumb mute. All right. Hello. <laughs> My thumb mute. So uh, we're going to go up 6th Street. Uh, we hope somewhere on the way we will find Scoble. That's part of our mission. It's kind of like, where's Waldo? Right. Now, 6th Street is old Pecan Street in the old Austin that we used to be called Waterloo before they made it the capital of Texas. And if you look to your left out of the tour bus, you'll notice the home of... No, Did right. you drive one of those ducks at one point? No. I wish they had those here, though. Those are cool. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. They have amphibious vehicles that they just drive right into the lake. So where is 6th Street? 6th uh, Street is one block... Wait... One block, two blocks. Where's Old Pecan two Street? Blocks. It's okay. two blocks that way. Oh, Pecan right. Street. Thank you for referring. Because <laughs> yes. you know, when I lived here in the 1800s, it was called Pecan Street. All right. We're oh, we got to thank Live View that's making this possible. We are literally wireless right now. We're going to actually be able to walk down the street thanks to the folks at Live View who make these backpacks that use 3G technology. We have two of them, right? Yeah. So we're going to turn on one uh, for the front of us and one for the back of us. And we have to thank our sponsors, which are today Fresh Books. Actually, Fresh Books is uh, here in 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 Mass. Uh, they were handing out things, and they have a booth and all sorts of stuff. And Squarespace.com, of course, they had the chicken and waffle truck, right? Well, Fresh Books came on as a sponsor just in time for me because I have to invoice somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Send them an invoice, and, and I'm going to use Fresh Books for it. Well, that, easy. I was like, otherwise, I got to go into Word and make up something that looks dorky, and oh, no. like Fresh Books <laughs> makes it look professional. That's good. It actually does the edition for you, which we like. Uh, Squarespace, of course, the great blogging uh, and uh, web software uh, are, are anthony and uh, dane are here maybe we could run into them well it'd be fun to run into them that would be a lot of fun so let's go shall we let's and you're going to come with us so this is the idea of this is yeah we know we're doing a lot of walking essentially you know what somebody should go right behind brent so he doesn't run into a uh, scoble and uh, we don't want to injure him. He might be in this room. <laughs> We're not sure. There's a website. What is the name of that website? Uh, is Scoble in this room? Or... It says scobleinthisroom.com. Scoble in room. I mean, I got it here. Here, you hold the mic. Okay. I'm going to pull it up. Oh, and you're in chat, right? Yeah, I've got the chat up on my uh, phone. Uh, 
Is Ace to Tech one of the 6% of American men who part their hair on the right side? Yes. Yes, I am. Well, I'm glad we've got the chat for that. That's a, it's the important news that only the chat room can bring so to us. Here's the website. Let me just show you real quickly. This is, is Scoble in this room. You pull this up. And it lets you know if Scoble's actually in the room you're in based on his most recent tweet. So we've just seen Scoble. We have a Scoble sighting, but we are pretty he, sure. He oh, wait a minute. Party, Sorry about basically. that. You, you, did you see it there? I had the wrong. Uh, now you can see it. So there he is. Is Scoble in that room? Most certainly not. Okay. No, he's not here. But we're going to find him. We're going to find well, him. And Scoble can be in multiple rooms at once. It's one of the few known powers of Scoble. <laughs> it's, it's the Scoble power. Absolutely. <laughs> now, this is strange. CNN is here. Now, I know there's a big news event. Uh, I, it's bizarre. They've got the CNN grill at South by Southwest. They've got a CNN bus. It's amazing that across the... We should, go, we should go back and we should look at all the stuff they've got here to broadcast live and then compare it to what yeah, we have. Exactly. And we're walking by with our little... Hey, we got a live view and a couple of mics, and that's all we really need. And behind um, we see uh, the Pepsi Max venue. Yeah. They were playing Foursquare there. They are. There is a Foursquare party going Yeah, the Foursquare right? folks, if you know the check-in program Foursquare, they're actually playing Foursquare for the first time. Oh, they're actual yeah. Foursquare? Yeah. They, oh, they've wow. got a Foursquare court wow. set up. I don't know if they're playing it right now. Yeah, but they were playing. How do you play Foursquare? You check in uh, at different places, and they said, no, no, Foursquare, the kids like, game. Like, get the ball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got to get to the fourth square so you can serve. So, so no. <laughs> it's good. Every time I talk, somebody sticks a mic in my head. <laughs> So South by Southwest is really, uh, it is a conference, it's a trade show, but it, I mean, I got the badge, but I haven't been to a single I, a, a sh seminar, have you? Uh, honestly, I don't know why I got the badge, other than it allowed me to ride the escalator up earlier during the coverage, but I haven't <laughs> been to a single panel either. It's not about the panels, I mean, they have panels, there's even, and I didn't even know this last year, there's a trade show floor with booths, I didn't even know that. Oh, yeah, there's been a trade show floor for a while, but they've actually expanded this this year. It's usually very small. Here's another interesting thing about Austin. They often have the uh, sidewalk go upstairs yeah. like this, and then you're left to walk on the road. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there's David Spark. Oh, no, it's just another guy. It looks just like it. <laughs> so there's a long line here for the uh, Foursquare party, I guess. That's actually the official South by Southwest frog design. That's the frog design opening party. Oh, so we'll have to go in there. Yeah, yeah. Now we know how we got the badge. Come back. Come back. Austin! I love Austin! <laughs> Hook em horns! Nah. Wait. Oh, man. I used to watch you all the time. When you were this high. You were I stopped. When G4 was the <laughs> And uh, oh, before it was even G4. <laughs> I actually, believe it or not, I have a company called Twit. This is a great way to meet chicks. I have a company. You like you were the best reviewer back in the day, and you was the best back in the day. What's your name? I'm Brian. Brian, where are you from? I'm from uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. And what brings you here today? Today I'm here because I live in Austin, and I'm just down here to live off the the large. So you're not here for South by Southwest. I'm here for South by Southwest, but for interactive, what I do, I don't actually have to come to the conference. But during the nighttime, I come here. It's the parties, isn't it's it? It's the parties, of course, and that's what that's what we're here for. But also, you know, to to meet celebrities, you know. I hear Scobles right up ahead. And and you never know, like Bill Murray might be pouring shots. There's always the thing really? that happen really? at South by Southwest. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. And so, you know, I'm here to say, uh, Welcome this, this is awesome, you know. Yeah. We love Austin. Austin. I'm glad you guys, I, what, so what do you guys do? As we, 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 oh, God, it's a long story. Uh, just do you make fun of Twitter all day? Because that's no. what I do when I say the word. We Twitter. certainly do that. We certainly do that. Google Twit, you'll find us. All right, I will. Hey, right. nice to meet you. Enjoy Austin. Take care. They all love everything you do at G4. <laughs> yeah, great. Awkward. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> these these lanyards. They're <laughs> so what is it that you do at Twit? Leo, I love you. What do you do? <laughs> so you can see behind us there's a crazy long line for the actual, like, official South by Southwest. Party. But do you think that'll be the best party to go to? Uh, South by is kind of one of those places where it's like, okay. You see a line and then you join it. With Gary yeah, yeah. V at, like, right. midnight. 
Yeah. No, you have to you have, you have to ferret out the Gary V type parties to find the really good stuff. Because <laughs> or you have to have a Brian Brushwood with you to scam you in, so you don't have to wait in line. We're lucky. Brian is a local. He's actually going to join us maybe a little bit later. Brian, of course, is performing right now on stage at Stubbs where the Dignation event is, and Brian does his magic show there. This is a uh, little there. bit like an Odysseus journey to Stubbs, yeah? I remember. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Love you, babe. Don't ever change. You remember the ride. Can you give us all a ride? Pedicabs. I love the pedicabs. Are these only at South by, or do they do this? Are you guys do it all the time? All year round, man. Really? All year round. And you don't charge anything. That's the amazing we thing. Work on tips. We work on tips. Yeah. We like to work on tips. You make more money that way, don't you? Yeah, it's got to yeah. be right. Yeah. Because if you had a meter, I'd pay you five dollars. Oh, but this way, I give you a twenty, right? Everybody <laughs> yeah, gets yeah, a twenty. Yeah. Right? Uh, you know, it's a general thing. It's a good it's thing. Actually. And uh, this is Movie Mint Bike Cab. Phil yeah. Sadler. It's nice. Entrepreneur. That's awesome. That's right. Nice to meet you. Movement. Yeah. Super Bowl. We've been to the World Series. Yeah, I was the guy that got you. Um, I don't he took us around the block. Took him around the block. We did some. It was awesome. Stuff. We did some funny stuff, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it was nice to see you again. Get to work. All right. <laughs> This is exactly what it's all about. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's amazing how many people have said, like, oh, I remember you from last year because yeah. you were doing the thing. You were doing the weird well, thing. It's, you know, there are others. I understand that Sarah Austin, for instance, Pop 17, is also going to be walking around with a live view. So there are others this time. Yeah. But, I mean, how many times do you see a group of people walking around with yeah. lights and a camera right. just talking to people? So, of how course, you're going to have Lisa Bedney. Thank and, you uh, That's much. right. Absolutely. Hey. Hey. Yes. Now, there's nothing like this in Canada, although actually the Toronto Film Festival is probably a little like this. I don't think anything's like this. I mean, this is my second year, and I really feel like there's there's a huge difference from even last year to this year. Like, it's really blown up. I feel that, too. Do you notice that, Tom? No, last year when I came, I felt like this is the year it's taking off. We're starting to see corporate sponsors having things off the convention center. And this year, it is totally blown out. There's so many things away from the convention center, like that CNN grill that we saw. There's so many things going on that are permeating throughout that it's starting to feel the way South by Southwest music started to feel in the mid-90s, that it's like this is the biggest thing. It's and happening. In the past two years, Interactive has outdrawn yeah. music. They, they said 40,000 people this year for Interactive? Is that right? Is that what they heard? Yeah. I mean, but even I, last year, like, uh, Foursquare was just out. Like, it was just like Foursquare. Now, Foursquare and Guala are right. so huge. Well, well, Twitter Twitter really got going at South by Southwest. It didn't launch at South yeah. by Southwest, but they had a Twitter board up, and everybody said, oh, what's this Twitter? Foursquare the same way. There's always something. This year, we're using Beluga. Group Me is getting a lot you of You know what's interesting, and though? There's always the, this, like, let's try out the new social right. thing when you're at South by I have to say, though, there's, that so many people look at Twitter's success at South By in 2007 and Four Squares a couple of years ago, that there are a lot of wannabes here who say, we want to be the next yeah, big thing. Right. So many so that I wouldn't say there is the next big thing this I time. I haven't seen that thing yet. Uh, we're using Beluga production-wise, yeah, well, but uh, we're, not we're, not, we're not using it with a bunch of other people. I think there's so many people competing now that maybe one won't rise above the way they have in the past. I think that's part of the problem is there's, you know, it's, there's a lot of noise. And Everybody knows about it now. Everybody's trying to take advantage. Yeah. It's hard to, hard to rise above. But I, do, I, I, do. I, I know I, this guy looks so familiar. Isn't this the great Jason Reitman, one of the great stars of movie and screen? It's nice to see you. Could, oh, nice to see thanks for coming out. Yeah. <laughs> So it's just amazing the people who you see. The film uh, over, overlaps interactive. Uh, it, it bridges the gap between the music and the interactive. Right, right, so absolutely. So that's why you see Jason Reitman. It's incredible. I don't even know who that is, but I think that's who that was. Oh, I thought it was Jason Reitman. I thought it was, but it could have been. Apparently, Brian Brushwood is done. Okay. So this is another, another party, the pure yeah. volume party. Yeah, we don't know what the... What makes this party such a good party? Makes this party the one that people are lining up to get into? It goes to four. It goes to four. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> this party is a good party because it goes to 11. Yeah, right. That's about how long we're going to go, I'm sorry to say. Look at that. We, we can at least peek in. This is, this is the party everybody's trying to get into. Look at that. Man, it's jammed. It's jammed it's with people having place. a great time. This is the old copper tank. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, are you a this travelogue, Tom. <laughs> you know, you could work at Disneyland. Oh my God, a hippo! <laughs> now, uh, but this does confirm your. Oh, yes, old Pecan it's Street. the old Pecan Street Cafe. So. I, 
It may be boring, but it's not a lie. We could actually ask some of the diners what they're eating. Yeah. Or not. Right here on Old Pecan, old Pecan Street. Well, actually, we're not on. The funny thing about Old Pecan Street. We're not actually, yeah, actually not here. Actually yeah, Street. yeah. Just down the street. You know, this is the Bolts uh, uh, Humvee. Oh, sweet. Yeah. It's at Twitter.com slash Get Bolts. Very cool. Look at that. What is it? Oh, my God. I got it all wrong. Are you with Bolt? With Bolt. What is a Pinsgauer? This is a 1975 Swedish Pinsgauer. It was a Swedish Army uh, troop carrier. And if you look at little little details like this, it's like a sw uh, Swiss Army knife. Look at that. That's, that's a uh, shovel. Here's all the tools. It's got everything from... Now, how did you come by a Pinsgauer? Uh, found it in Arkansas and drove it down here for two days. Did you see it and you looked at it and you said, my God, that's a Pinsgauer? I don't know if I said, my God, that's a Pinsgauer. I said, that possibly is the coolest vehicle I've ever you, seen. You, you knew there was something. That. You knew there was yeah, something. I want to drive that. That's yeah. the coolest vehicle I've ever seen. Is it street legal? It's street legal yeah. for now. It's insured as a Volvo. <laughs> of course it is. Yeah, it is and now, what is Get Bolt? As long as we're going to give you a well, uh, talk about the gentleman it. that can tell you what Get Bolt is. So, so what is, what is besides the Pinscower, what is Get Bolt? Bolt is a page sharing service. It allows you to copy and edit and share any page on the web really quickly. Awesome. That's what it does. So, by a bookmarking service? or? Uh, well, it's like Bitly on steroids. Ah. Right? So, in more than just the URL, you can get the page, you can edit and change it very rapidly and send it off and create different variations. So, it helps people in marketing, it helps people, any people with content that they want to grab, create copies of, and, and share rapidly. Bolt is the platform to do it on. Are you launching at South by? We are not. We are just sort of here for a presence. How important is this kind of event for you? Pretty important because a lot of the most influential people in the digital world are here, and so it's important to kind of be uh, on their radar, and that's all we want to be. And you want to, you need to get buzz. Yeah. So you figured the Pinscour would be the key. Well, the founders of the company, uh, they love this kind of thing, so that might be part of it. But are you giving people Pinscour rides? We are tonight. We'll be going to party to party, awesome. and people are welcome to jump on. So that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> I think we'll pass on the Pinscour ride, but. But, I, but I'm glad to meet you. Good luck with the Bolt. And it, it's Twitter.com slash Get Bolt to find out more. B-O dot L-T. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. Have a great South by. Thank Thanks. So Take care. Well, you, you never go. know what you you're going to run into as you find. walk down the street. <laughs> old Pecan Street here in beautiful Lawston. We missed Jeff Jarvis uh, reacting to the dumpster juice coming out of the alley here. <laughs> it's pungent. It's pungent. It's it quite really pungent. It really is. <laughs> They're making something in there. I think the, the uh, inmates call it Pruno. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> right. But team, team Canada's over there. Look at that, yeah. Why that's going on. We should. We should, we should. we should cross the street. Jeff is safely away from the pungent odor over here, <laughs> so we can follow his lead. Maple Leaf Digital Lounge. Ah, okay. This is the Maple Leaf Digital Lounge. And being a Canadian, I just felt like I had to come home for a minute. So what does that mean? What is the Maple Leaf? It's, it's, it's just sponsored by all of Canada? Well, I would know this since... Um... <laughs> I don't know. It's... Can we, can we, we're doing a live stream here. Can we ask you what, what's going on here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. I'm well, come, come over here by the camera. <laughs> So what is the Maple Leaf? We have an actual Canadian. I'm Canadian. Right oh, really? Yeah. Okay, we're, we're going to get Deb, who's the one with City Events, who's putting on this um, event. But basically, Maple Leaf Digital Lounge, we have Digital LA here, um, and we had a bunch of other sponsoring companies. So all throughout the weekend, we're having six companies, and they're competing for, people can vote for who's the best tech company. Tonight, we have a bunch of bands playing. So um, what is Canadian about it, particularly? Well, at, there's, at midnight, there's poutine. So ah, all, it's all Canadian. Okay. Just, so it's all Canadian They're really companies. trying to get can, um, Canada on the scene for, for So talent. beavers, maple syrup, hockey, poutine. lacrosse. The, all the drinks, Labats. we have different shots, like the beaver shot, the hockey shot. So the beaver the shot. So there's a lot of following, they realized. Um, they did it last year, and there was a lot of following for um, for people, for Canadians. So a lot of people that's come out so far, I've seen some of them. Do you feel at home now? Canada. With a beaver shot? I don't know. Or the poutine, maybe? You'd have to try that. So where, you're from Canada, too? I am. I am. Yes. So Deb is the main lady. She works for City Events. So that's why I was. she'd be a great person. Awesome. I think we're just going to carry on. Yeah, I think we're going to keep walking, but thank you so much. Thanks. I appreciate it. All right. 
So I, what do you think? I don't think? know. Very I don't know. Canadian, somewhat. Walk on the red carpet. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, really. I, what's I, more Canadian than a red carpet? What's more Canadian than poutine? I don't know. Can, poutine's kind of a Quebecois thing. Have eaten poutine? Um, probably once or twice. It's not we like have a, a real steadfast Canadian. Are you meal also, for me. We have another real Canadian here. I'm from Vancouver. I'm from Vancouver. There you go. I'm here. I'm here for hot. Bicycled all the way. With the Vancouver Carnival <laughs> bands. Oh, awesome. There you go. And what are you here for? We're live streaming. We're live streaming live right here on the Oh, cool. Internet. Well, how you doing, folks, back in Canada? <laughs> so what brings you out to South by South? Well, we were here for a different music festival called Honk. It's uh, 25 street bands from all over North America. And we're playing that we're actually going to be in a parade tomorrow here downtown, going from City Hall all the way down to Pan American Park. So they were just telling us here one of the things that's Canadian about this party, besides the flags, is the beaver shot. What's in a beaver shot? I didn't, I didn't quite see it. There were too many people at the bar, but it looked pretty interesting. So that's not a traditional shot? Then. I don't think it's a traditional. No, 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 no. But it's, uh, it's pretty good, though. All right. Okay. Okay. Thanks, man. Thanks. Good. Thanks. Thanks for talking with us. <laughs> okay. Yes. Let's uh, let's actually thank one of our sponsors, FreshBooks.com, uh, which I I don't know. I I'm I've signed up because I actually I know, need to be I able to invoice. <laughs> yeah. As a freelancer, it is really hard to keep track of your invoices. It's also hard to create invoices that don't look ghetto. I've had to invoice <laughs> on occasion. You know, that's very very like very simple stuff but i recently had to do an invoice to like i have to make this look professional and it was I know. hard it, it is hard. and so fresh books what they do is they're like we'll take care of all that so you don't have to worry you put in the information how much mm -hmm. you owe who you owe it to what are the addresses what are the po numbers all of that stuff and then they send the invoice for you and they collect the money for you and they keep track of it so if you've forgotten about an invoice they'll email that person and get, right. get it going they'll, they'll, they'll be the heavy the heavy yeah Mm. They'll get in there for you. Uh, they collect by credit card, by PayPal. They'll even mail a printed invoice if that's what the person you're dealing with or the company you're dealing with has to do. And cakes. You know about the cakes? Oh, yeah, the birthday cakes. Yeah. It doesn't even have to be your birthday. It, it could be. I mean, it's like it's like a party without getting older. Yes. Yeah, you don't have to get older. You can stay young forever and still win a birthday cake from FreshBooks.com if you sign up. FreshBooks.com, they allow you to try it for three clients for free, uh, and then they have tiers up above that. But if you try even the three free clients, you get registered to win the free cake. They're giving one out every day throughout the month of March. I know. I know after the, the giant meat and cheesecake meal that I just had, I don't <laughs> know if I can have it. as appealing immediately. <laughs> but, but definitely if I'm I I'm sure you could find somebody who would want your cake. Okay. I mean, the cake birthday cake, the cake birthday that you would cake win. Money. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's so we're now, we're now hitting like... There's so a lot of stuff now? going on. <laughs> All right, I figured out where we go next. Down Old Pecan Street, right here. Thank you. So yes. Where did you learn that? <laughs> We're, this is Sixth Street, and uh, pretty much it's closed to traffic. I mean, it's not literally closed, but look at everybody's walking in the middle of the yeah. road. No, they, they no, it is literally closed. They they bl they block oh, it up right. every night of the week. I actually had a, a girlfriend worked at Casino El Camino. When I pick her up for work, I'd have to drive all the way around to pick her up because they close it off every night. So uh, if we keep walking, we'll get to Stubbs, right? Oh, Everybody is that the Hootsuite? Hootsuite Owl? Hello to the Hootsuite Owl. There you go. <laughs> Look, he's saying hi to some kids. Ah, we like you too. Hey. Hey, Hootsuite Owl. <laughs> How are you doing? Awesome. Can you do, can you do some moves for us? Yeah. And you should Canadian know that he can't too. see out of that yes. outfit. High five. High wing. He's, he's guessing. <laughs> he's guessing, but he guessed really well. He's blind out of that outfit. He can't see out but of that. But he's easy. <laughs> Before we knock him over, we <laughs> get going. The other thing about... Uh, Sixth Street is that there's it's it's an endless amount of bars and restaurants. You just it just doesn't stop, and the, so, so are, are it reminds these... me a lot of the Gas Lamp District in San Diego. If ah, people ever okay. go to Comic Con, this is sort of the equivalent. This is where all the restaurants and bars. But are. I've never I've never seen anything like this where it's just like literally a giant party from one 
bar to another and yeah. all you know all these people are here for the same reason so yeah. it's just like a, a well key- what's funny is a lot of these folks because South by Southwest is here, the majority, you're right, are here for South by Southwest. But then there's also folks coming in from the university. There's people coming in from other parts of Texas. They're like, I'm coming into Austin to experience 6th Street. And so it is. It's a huge party every night. I just saw Mac fly in our chat room. He said there's a really good blues band over here. Let me, can't, we just got to go, just got to go hear them. These guys, are, <laughs> we got to sample it, right? <laughs> I think they're having some sort of party. That's pretty pretty fun. Is it really a 45-second rule, though? I really want to know this now. That's hilarious. So that was the blue moon and some some jazzy blues. Oh, watch out. Oh. How come he flipped it around? How come he flipped it around? Who was he looking at when he flipped it around? There were some guys on the other side. (laughs) <laughs> At least it's equal opportunity, right? Hi! You know, Lisa? Oh. Hi! Look, he's of course. Working. How's it going? Scott, who are you? Um, I'm Scott Meinzer. I work with Lisa on Camera Plus, actually. Awesome. So you were part of the programming team behind it? Or? Uh, yeah, I helped do design, direction, stuff. She comes up with the effects, and I make them work in the app. That Congratulations on the success. Thank Lisa you. told me, I don't know if it's a secret. A secret? Can I say? It's a secret. Two million? Yeah, oh, close. Two million? Two million? You're going to have a party at two million? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> that's all there's apps. Yeah, Absolutely. we're getting close to that, yeah. So. That's amazing. Yeah, and, and it's a paid app, too, so, I mean, it's kind of close to that. Congratulations. That's really neat. Yeah, no, I'm just wandering around taking pics. What are you guys doing? Uh, I don't know. Where's the good party? The good party? I don't know. The dig party is over that way. Yeah, we're kind of heading that way. Are you going to crowd surf again this year? No. Why not? <laughs> uh, what are you going to do with you have crowd surfing. How can I top crowd surfing? How can he top crowd surfing? I don't know, but I mean, you got to do something. I was thinking of going up onto the balcony and leaping into the crowd. I, oh, well, we don't want you to get hurt now. I feel personally responsible if you did something that crazy. It was Lisa's crazy. idea. Well, that would be rash, but I mean, it would top the crowd surfing if you jump, but then, I mean... And died. <laughs> yeah. I'd never forget that. No, no, that would be really bad. Yeah. No, yeah, you no. you shouldn't do that. We no, gotta, I gotta, do gotta that. keep it safe. Keep yeah. it safe. I wouldn't mind going out with a bang, though. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. I think you'd get mainstream media attention if you jumped into the crowd and yeah. died. Kind of like... <laughs> really grim. We should have a new time. <laughs> Pick you know it what? up. Pick it Let's up. Let's talk about Uber because Uber is an application. Scott, yeah, no, take I'm care. All right. Uber yeah. is an application that uh, is in New York and soon to be, I think, San Francisco. It's a black car application. You use it to order a limousine, right? Right. And a lot of the taxi cab companies have gotten really bent out of shape because they feel like it's stealing their business because you don't have to have a medallion. You don't have to have a taxi license in order to operate. And now many of the pedicabs here are using Uber. Yeah, it's, some, it's actually something they set up specifically. <laughs> wow. It's so, so sad when young like people drink early. Of Uber. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, the pedicabs are set up with to, to brand Uber so that you can actually order them. Well, what's great about it is they have they just have an iPhone and you just pay with your iPhone instead of using cash or right. And they they recently had a group on. Although special. we know the pedicabs only work on tips, so you know. I we took a pedicab earlier today that had a uh, a smartphone and he had the Uber thing up and he was getting calls via Uber. It was pretty amazing. Yeah, and so so. Uh, what do you do in that situation? It's kind of an ethical thing where it's like, well, I don't have to give them anything, but now I'm on Uber. Oh, they know. They like, know. Like exactly. Card, right? yeah. You know, usually it's like a couple bucks. So you just. Oh, Leo, you're talking right? about doing something crazy? I was just thinking, let's all go get a tattoo. <laughs> Come on, kids. Oh, man, let's do it. What would you get, Lisa? Uh... <laughs> what? logo right here. Oh, yeah, a nice twit logo. A uh, twit logo on my butt? Yeah, what do you think? Yeah. All right, I think let's do hot. it. I think that's hot. Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> You're just teasing me now. <laughs> no, that I, yeah, I wouldn't be able to be buried in the Jewish cemetery. I don't want to do that. <laughs> we are going to follow. We are going to follow our noses. What is Stony? Mm. I have no idea. There's a, a huge movement in Austin, just like everywhere else around the country, of these food carts on the street. All this Doc, Doc's Munchies Donuts. Tell me about Doc's Munchies. Is there something special? This is uh, very special. Do- Doc Munchies is uh, fresh hot mini donuts. We, uh, my husband and I are from Minnesota, and we brought in uh, the machine and all the fi- Look, flavors from Minnesota. 
Oh my God, he's got a little mini donut maker. Yep. They got the original cinnamon sugar, Mexican hot chocolate, toasted coconut. Oh, you've got grand masala, East Indian, chocolate wow. hazelnut, or salty caramel. Would you, would you like to try one, Lisa? If I was not full, full of meat. We just ate a lot of meat. We did. We'll come back on the way back. That looks fantastic. And I love your beautiful trailer. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Real quick, Brent, you can see a group of early St. Patrick's celebrators. Oh, it's almost March 17th. Yeah. Look at that. They're all... Check the calendar very closely. It's the wearing of the green. we got to see what's going on here. J. Walter Thompson in New York. This is uh, the future of uh, interactive advertising. No? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, you're supposed to agree yeah, with this guy here. So he you're carrying around. You're not really from J. Walter Thompson, are you? I am. This guy here, this guy here over here. Wait a minute. So he's, he's carrying around a, a projector. Right. A projector man on the street, kind of uh, getting our word out there to, you know, follow JWT, BBQ. To find out where we're going to be next, and we're he, partnering with Salt Lick to give out free barbecue to the people. Oh, that's the best barbecue in the world. That's it. Now he doesn't really need goggles, does he? Uh, yes, he does. He does. He needs goggles. Why does he need the goggles? Uh, the goggles are for safety and for vision at night, sir. <laughs> Thank sir? you. Okay. Thank wow. you, sir. <laughs> sir, uh, are you also from JWT here? Uh, we are. Uh, or you're responsible for this. We're responsible for this uh, the projection man. Yeah, projection man. A projection <laughs> man, sir. What are you projecting today? Uh, projecting this cartoon uh, depicting. Are you sick to death of it yet? <laughs> no. It's a, it's amusing every time you've seen it. Every single time. Yeah. yeah. How many times have you seen it now? Probably a few thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Don, your Don's the goggles. Have you had to have you had to use the goggles? Um, maybe later on when it gets darker outside, I will. And, and how much and does this so contraption this weigh? So this van that has the barbecue. Uh, yep. can this tell is you, a. Maybe. Hold on. We weighed it. It weighs 52 pounds. But if I sat on wow. it, it would weigh 252 pounds. <laughs> would you like to try that, sir? No. Okay. Just thought I'd ask. Should, should we point out that he does not have his uh, eyeballs propped open as in Clockwork Orange? <laughs> so, I'm really watching this on my so, own. I got to say, J. Walter Thompson is an old line mainstream Madison Avenue ad agency. True. This is pretty wild. Yeah, well, we're showing that, I mean, we all can be responsive, and we, we get social media, and we are up there with social media. We can, you know, run with the best of them. I have to say, when I think social media, I think a guy with a helmet and a projector on his lap uh, every single time. And, and I, love the, uh, I lo love the cartoons. And uh, wow. Just wow. Well, oh, wow. Again, safety first, right? Yeah, we try, of course. We don't and, want them tripping. Well, and also you got Salt Lake back here, and I tell you, you could actually part of this you could have people run thing. people down trying to get to the Salt Lake. Exactly. Yeah. This is the best part of the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Back at 10, what is live? It's, what's live? The Salt Lake's live at 10? We're going to start serving about 10 o'clock tonight, and then there'll be another serving at 12, but then you got to follow us on Twitter to find out where we're going to be. Oh, and what is the Twitter handle? It's uh, JWTBBQ. JWTBBQ. On Twitter, we could probably storm him and take the barbecue. What do Let's you just take the that barbecue. Come on, he, he's busy. Just uh, I'll back up slowly. Them. I'll distract him. Look, glow sticks. <laughs> All right, thank you. Nice to meet you. This is very innovative. Yeah, and I enjoy the. Uh, we tempt you with meat, then money. That's good. I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's actually being made. They show they. Sh they show, look, we've got, uh, actually, since you're the uh, educational person, would you like to show us the various cuts of meat? Yeah, okay, so if you're going to get a barbecue, there's lots of various cuts of meat you can get. Uh, there's the round, it's a little tougher, but it's a little cheaper. Sirloin off sole is a very prime meat. Uh, we had some sirloin tonight. Uh, and I love uh, your Your flank steak in the middle is a very classic. The short loin, often overlooked, a very tender cut of meat that's good. Obviously, ribs, awesome. Brisket. That's something to get at barbecue well, what because about that's the something chuck that can be made area. tasty. I, I... Now, up here, you're going to get your cheap. These are better for stews or things like that, your chuck and your thick rib. Uh, and, and obviously, I should point out, you want to get them from a cow and not a van. Yeah. You know, because bit, it's little a little, little tougher yeah. when you get yeah. it from a metal yeah. van. Yeah. <laughs> You all have to sign a release now with J. Walter Thompson. <clears throat> he doesn't want to be on camera. He's smarter than me. How are you going to use this? Uh, well, it's already live, right? Yeah, we're live. So, uh, where, where, am I the performer? I oh, sign it, sign it right there. All right, run, run. Uh, Leo Laporte. L A P O R T E. I might get some money out of this. Phone number. 
Oh, I don't care. Leo Twit. Five three six eight nine four eight. No, Chipotle. Well, there's a bidding war between uh, Salt Lake and Chipotle here. Jeff Jarvis, come here. Jeff, be my yeah. counsel. Should I sign this release, Jeff? You're sign it, Donald Duck, and you'll be fine. All right, I'm safe. <laughs> Jeff Jarvis is, of course, a professor of journalism at the City University of New York, which means he knows everything. I know nothing, but what the hell? I get paid very little to say so. <laughs> this is kind of fun. Now, you ca how many how many years have you come to South? Park? Three or four. Yeah, it's really the most interesting of all the conferences. I think it's amazing. Yeah. It's, it's our tribe, right? Yeah, I'm not sure I want to be in this tribe. <laughs> it's a little. They're a little weird. Yeah, they are. But they love you. They love you. It's kind of fun getting around here. We have a good time. Drivers love you. I have. Uh, I have apparently one pedicab fan. You have. Yeah. yeah. All right. Did you show them the uh, cuts of meat? Yes, that's right. Yes. All right. Let's move on then. And we, and we, and we noted that you should uh, get them from a cow, not a van. <laughs> yes. Vans make very tough. Uh, Leo, one time I stopped here yeah? at this corner, <laughs> yeah. and a friend of mine oh, got oh, out of the car. No kidding. And, yeah. Wow. Is that right here? Yeah, right. No, no kidding. Right, right here. Right. Well, it seems like we have a crowd of people standing behind us, so maybe we should well, just... Because we're getting close to the dignity party. This is it. Yeah, yeah. This is it. All right, we're going to cross this way. <laughs> you like the way I lean just like, come on, this way. <laughs> come on. Go. Get right. going. Now, over here. Gonna stop. You people are too stupid to actually know where to go. Stop. You're not listening to me. Go this way. <laughs> All right. And then let me tell you about the bookstore. And there was work. another time. I'll never forget Somebody it. Somebody brought in some National Geographics. <laughs> the whole set completes it. Now, look, this is a nicely dressed couple. I think this is this is the future of, uh, of how people are going to dress. Top hats and tails. And I think it's very, very nice. In fact, I see more and more people dress like that all the time. Don't you? I do when I go to the steampunk party at Emos. Oh, is that what, uh -huh. is that what was going on? Look at see, look at goggles. I love it. A flight suit, flight suits. Uh, there's absinthe at this bar. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. I love him too. Oh my God. Do you even know who him and her are? <laughs> yes. Very good. And you're Sarah Rosso. I'm. You're famous. You're. You live in Italy. Yes, I do. And you've come here for South by Southwest. Yes, I have. That's fantastic. What brings you to Italy? Well, um, I live there. I've been living there for eight years. Well, are you Italian? No, I'm American. I sense from your accent that you might be American. Yes, I, so Why do you? But you know, I love. I mean, Italy. Why? I for about three or four years. In Italy? Yeah. Really? Podcasting. They have podcasts? They call well, it, what do they call them? Is it a podcast? You can access it from anywhere. Anywhere. Well, and, and tell me about this party. What is going on uh, here? This is a WordPress party. So oh, we love WordPress. Yeah, you just spoke with Matt. This Matt Mullenweg. We just yeah, had so him on. We work for him. Oh, that's oh, wonderful. Wow. You're all automatic? Yes, we are. Oh, that's great. I'm I know. WordPress. <laughs> well, nice to see you, automatic. Oh, yeah. Automatic in the house. That's great. So, you think a lot of bloggers will come to this party? There were a ton. Oh, it's over. It was packed. Yeah, and we're going to the next place now. What's the next place? Um, we're still deciding. But, um, oh, are you guys going to use Foursquare? Are you going to use Gowalla? What are you going to use? Right Luga, that's what we're, we're using. using Luga too, enjoying it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, it's nice to meet you all. That's great. Yeah, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. That Take care. Oh, <laughs> I know you. I know you. It's nice to see you, Sarah. Take care. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. You having fun? Having this is awesome. Yeah, we're gonna. We, no, we don't go in the front way. I think we go in the back way here. Wait, where are you going? No, we're not allowed to go in the. Front no, no, the front way is for uh, is for uh, important people. We have to go people. through the service entrance. Hook 'em horns, yes. Whatever, yeah. Oh my God! Oh my God! Alex Wellen, look at this. Look at this. Talk about. Talk about. Old camera. camera, you look you look beautiful. Just look for the lights. Alex right. Wallen knows that's where you'll find to be it. on camera. It's a little. Here, I'll find awesome. Jennifer London. Okay, thank you. You <laughs> may remember Alex from Cybercrime. <laughs> How are you? Uh, on on Tech TV, and now he works at CNN. You're it's live right now. You're working on CNN. Huh? I am. I'm in yeah, CNN. What are you doing? I am uh, trying to bridge uh, digital and uh, television uh, properties. And, of course, a novelist. Yes. I Two novels that. so far. Oh, thank you very much. Do I get to hold it? <laughs> Please, no, 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 thank you. This will bring Hello. back memories, Let's doesn't it? Yes. Let's talk about cybercrime. I don't know anything about cybercrime. Oh, all right. Well, all right. <laughs> In my youth. How it was, was a great business? show. Well, I don't know. We you guys have all kinds of apps. You guys are everywhere. We got toys. We got toys. We got fun stuff.
I'm totally even rooting for you guys. We got I people you. dancing in front of the back of the camera. So is the lovely Chris Kosach with you? She is not. Chris Kosach Wellen. Right. Wellen. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. No, but we, I'm sending her, sending my love out to Chris. All right. Chris, if you're watching, Christy, if you're watching at home, and your baby? Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Thank you. How old's Nathaniel? Two and a half. Would you like to see a picture? Yes, I would love okay. to see a picture, actually. Okay, this is... <laughs> oh, wait, there's some sort of updated invite, so I guess I won't need to do that, right? Invite to uh, this event? Yeah, no, are we going? Are you going to see Jim? Have you seen Mr. Lyle? Yeah, we're going in there. There's Nathaniel. Oh, yes, I'm camera. sorry. Yes, that's Nathaniel. It's, it's nice to preview. see you, Alex. It's, it's great so great. Oh, too. look at him. Thank you. Oh, is he a sweetheart? If you ever, is there, if there's anything we can ever do that, that, well, uh, for CNN, please. on behalf of CNN, we'd love to work with you. We feel the same way. So, your, na your title at CNN? I am Senior Executive Producer. Now, I noticed that CNN had a cafe yes, over here. Please come over. Come yeah. over. And I'm busting all I know. Come He's, over. What is the we, deal? We have a grill. We have food. We have entertainment. But why we South by events. Southwest for CNN? What is the Oh, the because deal? we have all kinds of events throughout the week. We're, we're making some announcements around some products. And, and uh, it's really again, the center of the universe is, is Austin, South by Southwest. It really is for this few days. Yeah, yeah and it's it really sure is. perfect for CNN because the, particularly CNN Digital, there's so many exciting things that we're doing between that and television. Go to YouTube, search for cybercrime. You'll find some fun stuff. Alex, great Thank to see you. you. See Thanks you. for coming by. Wait a minute. Come here. Wait a minute. I got to get my glasses on. Oh, wow. I welcome you. I welcome you to Earth <laughs> on behalf of our fearless leader. Please follow me this way. This way. Look, there's food. There's food inside. I... Ah! She's melding. Melding. Okay. What are they for? They're for Top Spree. It's a new application out here. Are you it's here? a new what? What does it do? iPhone application. Yeah, and it notifies me of what? Essentially, if you have a hundred of friends on Facebook and seventy percent of them you know deeply, and thirty percent you couldn't care less. Exactly. But if you're in the same room with these people, you can actually break the ice by playing tic-tac-toe or a chess game or whatnot and interact with them. So it, it looks at my friends on Facebook and says you're in the room with these ten of them or whatever. Yes, absolutely. And if you don't know them, you can easily break the ice by playing a tic-tac-toe game with them or whatnot. Also, if you're at an event like this and there's nothing going on at all, you can actually find on this application what the other events are going on. It's, wow. It's amazing. This is so cool. And tell me the name of it. It's Top Spree. Top? Top Spree. Spree. Top Spree. And can I keep these? Absolutely. All right. Top Spree. I think I'm going. <laughs> Yours not blinking. <laughs> no, that's because I have an alien physiology. <laughs> I can't. I, I feel a little bit blind. Just slap him on the side. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Hey, should we thank our sponsor, Squarespace? Uh, you bet. Squarespace, of course. We mentioned WordPress, but really, we love. <laughs> Is it hard to take me seriously when I'm wearing these? Just out of curiosity. A little bit. A little bit. But yeah. I. But I like it. I. Squarespace.com is the fast and easy way to start a high-quality website or blog. It's a secret behind exceptional websites. You can websites. even wear these crazy glasses. Absolutely. And start a, a, you can be a CS expert or not. You yeah. can wear crazy glasses. You can still start a high-quality Just blog. go to Squarespace.com, click the green Try It Free button, set up your site, and you're gone. You're it's good. Like, it's you're... great for photographers, too, if it you want to get a blog started or a portfolio. You got um, that. You're working that hot alien librarian look. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I can't hardly see, but I could still start a Squarespace. Blog. That's the beauty of yeah. it. Wait a minute. Flip his switch so he starts blinking. Squarespace.com. Try it free for 15 days. If you decide to buy $12 a month, it's a wonderful, wonderful hosting and uh, CMS, content management system. We just adore it. We know you will, too. We thank them because, frankly, it's Squarespace and our great sponsors that make this possible. We'd also like to thank the Live View folks who are giving us the technology so that we can do this. That's what I like. <laughs> Take a twin pick with me. Oh, my God. It's the oh, incredible wow. Kevin Smith. There we go. Woo! Woo! Down low. Okay. Too slow. Too slow. All right. We're going to go into the Dignation okay, booth. Okay. Wow. All right. All right. We're heading to Stubbs. All right. We are going into Stubbs. We have our flashing glasses. I'm putting my, I'm putting my special alien flashing glasses on. Do you need those to see Kevin Rose? <laughs> 
You know, he's actually invisible unless you wear the glasses. We have to show ID, too, I've been told. We have to show, oh, yeah, I'm underage. <laughs> Let me just see if I could, I could trick them into letting me in. We're all together. Hey, look, it's Carrie Kemp. <laughs> yes, do you know who I am? See if this matches. Is that me? I don't know. Thank you, sir. I don't know. I don't know. Shady looking fella. I'm not sure I'd let him in. Do I have to? I have to show this guy probably. He's with Stubbs. I, I know I'm here somewhere. Did your fake ID work? Tom! Tom, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Carrie Kemp, how are you? Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Yeah. All right. Look at I think I think it's about, our event is about to begin. Here we go. Yes. Awesome. So the show looks like it's just starting. We're just getting here at the right time. It's this is quite amazing. There's Alex Albrecht chugging beer. Uh, Kevin Rose trying to uh, egg him on. And quite a crowd. Now I think we are actually invited for a change to the VIP area. Ah. So we're going to see if we can get there. It's All pretty right. hard to go farther here. I thought it was a video effect. I thought it was a distortion. The cam, the, oh. the gas. <laughs> it looks exactly the same in real life, doesn't it? Yeah, that's true. I was waiting for you oh. to arrive. We've been trying to arrive for like two hours. <laughs> yeah, we're taking our time. <laughs> All right, can we get to the VIP room? We're That's trying the question. to get to the, the VIP room. Hey, look at what happened. Sorry, Mr. Laporte. Oh, my God. We can't allow free it's loaders. Cheyenne Brushwood. Random people yeah. coming in. What's that? This may be a free event for all ages here. Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. But that doesn't mean we let just anybody in. God, he looks good in those. You realize? How'd your show go? Uh, you know it was fantastic. Half the stuff. Wow! You did, let me see your back. Did you do the nails? I did not do the nails. But what we did was we broke a few world records. We did the world's largest human crazy straw. It was completely insane. I don't even know what that is. That's all right. You don't have to. All you need to know is that we made a five-gallon rush uh, white Russian, ran it through a hundred feet of tubing that went around my body, up my nose, and out my mouth, and uh, broke a world record doing it. Unbelievable. Nice and I'm pretty sure we somehow helped out the, the, the tsunami victims in Japan at the same time. Really? Yeah, actually, we did. We broke another record for live donations. Oh, that's awesome. That's How much awesome. tsunami? Uh, well, we, got, we broke the all-time record for uh, on the URDB for the most amount of money donated uh, at a live event at the same time. Yeah. What was the total? I, you know what? Numbers. They're very large. Big numbers. It was, it was somewhere in the thousands. Wow, that's exciting. really awesome. That's really amazing. Well... It's a quite a zoo here. Oh my gosh, you're not kidding. I'm so glad you made it. I wasn't sure you were going to make it out. Oh, we've been having a great time. We walked all the way down 6th Street here, and uh, we got these crazy glasses, and it's just been a lot of fun. Now you and you have to be a little bit nostalgic for the fact that last year you made podcasting history when you freaking crowd surfed and set a world record. And I'm going to make sure that neither Kevin nor Alex sees me here because they will make me do it again. Oh, come on. We can figure something out. You well, know what can we do? I was thinking I could go up into the balcony and leap into the crowd. You know what? Actually, I'm not going to lie. There was a half-baked plan with giant hamster balls that was going to involve getting them out, but we weren't able to pull it together. Well, we're, reco we're recording. We're always recording. Oh, okay, okay. Well, so I all you want. I, I love it. Well, just bleep the hell out of your fucking It's so funny. Oh, we're live. Me and Lisa. Of course, of course. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, those are my glasses. Dude, where did you get my glasses? I love these glasses. You, I, well, you can keep them. You know what I like about them? Everybody's naked when I wear them. It's true. <laughs> it's true. They call them naked glasses. <laughs> it's true story. True story. So, Mark is the social media guy with Squarespace.com. Yes, yes. We were just talking about Squarespace. It's yes. a wonderful place. Oh, my God. You have no idea. Yeah. Have you said that with Anthony yet? No, is Anthony here? I'd he love is, to see he, him. He'll give you a demo. V6 is coming right around the corner, and it's like, but your brain will explode. It's really exciting. It is like things you have never seen before on the internet before in, in your. Oh, I can't wait. It's, When's it, what's the time frame, you think? No time frame right now, but Kevin played with it, and you're going to play with it. It's it's amazing. I we can't wait to see it. you guys in early. Good. Yeah. Deal. But if you guys, if, uh, tweet me at Squarespace. I'm, at Squarespace. Yes. That's, you, That's He told me when you tweet at Squarespace, you tweet into his pocket. Yeah. Right here. All right. My <laughs> I know. It's mine's you. mine's back in the studio. <laughs> nice yeah. to see you, Mark. Thank hey, you. Thanks good. a lot. Be good. All right. <laughs> All right. We were also talking to Hermione. Hermione's interviewing Lisa right now yeah. for her show. Hermione, you're doing something really interesting right now. Okay, so I'm challenging. Uh, First of all, tell us who you are. The next web. Okay, Hermione Way from the next web. Uh, we're fourth biggest blog in the world behind Mashable TechCrunch Read Right Web. 
So we're really, really growing. I'm ju I've just moved to Silicon Valley. I'm interviewing startups and entrepreneurs, people involved in the tech industry. But here at South by Southwest, I have a challenge. Look at this. I'm raising money. Let me my get my iPhone and swear, which, you're going you're gonna to donate? Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Now wait a minute. Will you tell me what it's going to first? Okay, it's going to Japan. The victims. Of Earth, the earthquake. Red Cross or? Um, I think we're going to do Red Cross. And we've already raised fourteen hundred dollars today. We went over to the Clout Party House. Swipe my square. Swipe my card, baby. <laughs> this square is amazing. This is on. Uh, this is on her iPhone. It's this little card reader. Hundred dollars. We're going to send this to Earthquake Relief. Yeah, we're going to send it over to Japan to help. I mean, we're all partying here and there in turmoil. And there's not much we can do. Don't show my card number when you scan it. Okay. I mean, I don't mind if you have my card number, but please don't use it. Sometimes it's a bit sticky. Okay, it's going through. It's going through. Oh, different card if you want. No, it's all right. It's not your card. It's the. It is the. Sometimes it takes a while. It's but, kind of noisy here. There we go. That might go. No, no, no. When this does work, it's awesome. When it doesn't, it sucks. Ah. Uh, I think they're rejecting my card. Here, try this one. Oh. No, oh. Oh, 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 oh. $100 going to Earthquake Release. Leonaport, Twitch House, $100 to Earthquake Release. You're a good man. You know, it's kind of neat that you could do that live and, you know, as you're walking around. All right, so I'm going to sign this here. Look at that. So now we're up to, I think we're up to about $1,500, $1,600. That's awesome. Thank you. Really good. Thank really you. Good. Well Look at that. There we go. That was Perfect. fun. Thank you, Hermione. Okay, she's streaming. We're streaming. We're both live. Live here from South by Southwest. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> wow. And go. Was, we crossed the streams. I know. We crossed streams. All right. We want to go to the VIP area. How do we go up here? All right. We're going to go to the VIP area. Craig Allen, we've talked many times. Yes, hi, Craig. It's good to see you. I'm good. Yeah, you having fun at South by? I'm having a great time. Yeah, and it's Dig Nation. Are you just rocking out here? I, yeah, we were just hanging out. This is awesome. It is fun, isn't it? Yeah, nice to see you. Oh, tell me. Yeah, yeah. IPM. Where, where is it going to be? Uh, the Oscar Convention Center. Oh, that's great. Yeah, all about the old spice. I've never seen you in real life. Now I recognize you. How weird is it? I know. It's so <laughs> weird. Internet friend. Craig, of course, is with Wyden and Kennedy. They did the Old Spice uh, commercial. Yes, we did. Yeah. We interviewed you a couple of times about yeah, those commercials. Yeah. We're good friends. We go way back. Yeah, way, way back. Well, it's good meeting you. I'm so glad to meet you. 5 p.m. where? Uh, Oscar Convention Center. Where what are you, are, is Isaiah going to be there? Uh, he is not going to, but Mike, uh, the DJ, is going to be DJing. Right. And uh, Justine Bateman is going to be moderating, which is kind of I amazing. love her. Yeah, amazing. So. That's great. It'll be good times. Nice to see you, Craig. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Hey, was, we're still trying to make our way. I would like to. So what is this? So we're so he's 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 doing URDB world record stuff right now. We need you to get as close to the camera. He's gonna point the camera right in your face. Okay. Very close to your face. Windows. It's a Jarvie window developed by Scott Jarvie of the Utah Photo Walking Society. So I learned about it and I was like, oh, I want to try this at South by Southwest. Uh, what are you gonna do with the pictures? Uh, post them on Flickr, and the more pictures that I get will be a, a record on you. How many do you think you need to get? Uh, well, there's no record for it, so the more I get, the better. Let's do it. I'm already at 103. Just look at some of the ones. Show, show the camera what you, some of the ones. You can see. Show the camera. He knows how he is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's right behind me. Oh, I love it. And then, so you got a, a ring. It's a right flash with an 8-millimeter lens on it. And with the 8mm, it shows the back of the uh, ray flash, so it creates a nice dark window. Let's try it. All right. Now I have to get about this close to Can I wear these? Uh, we'll see. We'll see if it works. The flash may nullify it, so I have to get about this close. All right. You can also touch the inside. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that's excellent. That's excellent. <laughs> I should do TV. That came out great. And I was actually out at the cottage about two. I was out at the cottage about a month and a half ago. Oh yes. Yeah. And I remember I was with my brother. Yeah. So yeah. Good luck. How many have you got so far? Uh, well, that's number 112. We got to get a thousand, dude. Oh well, I'm walking around. There's nice, still young. There's a lot of people here. All right. 
Take pictures with this guy. All right. I'm Ravenscroft. <laughs> it's nice to see. Oh yeah, Ravenscroft. Yeah, yeah. Nice to see you, Ravenscroft. Hey, I've never. We've never met in person. You're kind of tall. I had no idea you were so tall. I thought you were like really tiny. It's so nice to meet. It's finally nice to meet you. How are you? Really great. I'm like enjoying the events and you know. So which is weird. I saw that you were going to be here, and I hope we, I was hoping I would run in. Oh, well, it's good that we did. And how's everything going? It's going great. I'm, I'm just kind of like here chilling out, enjoying the events, and meeting friends that I, like you, I've known for years online, but we haven't actually met face to face. It's amazing. It's weird. Isn't that, it's, a, it's an amazing thing. <laughs> it is. But it's good. It is good. It's good. It's good to be connecting in person. Once in a while. Not too often. Not too often, but yeah. you know, every once in a while we need that kind of meet space. Plug something, Zaddy. What are you? What's what's cool and new in your world that you can plug? Uh, plug. Uh, let's see. Um, tomorrow the Vimeo event. We're going to. There's a party. Diplo and Eclectic Method is going to be there, which is awesome. So I'm kind of like just enjoying all the parties and, and relaxing. So nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Too. Yeah, take care. Right. Sadi Diaz. Wow, this is great. Everybody's here. Celebrities. Hey, good to see you. How are you? Hey, Brian. Hey. Now, I gotta say hi to Brian because I had free ice cream thanks to you. Oh, I love that. The ice cream man gave me a Ben and Jerry's, Cherries Garcia, right in front of the Apple Store because Roku is so successful. Look at this. You're doing the million giveaway. What is it? That so we, you know, we we passed a million boxes sold last year. So great. Now we're celebrating. We're celebrating. By giving away a bunch of free stuff. I can't swear, right? A bunch of free stuff. Uh, Roku Evan Roku. free stuff. Yeah, Evan free stuff. We're having a great time here at South by Southwest. And, uh, you know, I'm glad you got some ice cream because the ice cream man is He's awesome. Cool. He's yeah, he is great. He does such a great job of putting the food in the tummy of, of very needy people. <laughs> well, we love the Roku. You know, right now, uh, thanks to Mediafly, we're on the Roku box. Yep. We were doing live streaming. It got a little expensive because so many people were watching. I watched this. I watched so this. we're talking to some bandwidth providers. We're going to make sure we get back on that. I would love for you guys to be on the live stream because I think live is so important. I love live right now. I know. And that's what's so great. I love your channel on Roku. It's got great on-demand content, but live is is so cool. And um, and I, I watched that episode with you and Dvorak. And Josh Topolsky, right. ex-editor now. Ex-editor of Engadget. Wow. That's a wow. Big isn't it? news today. Yeah. Joshua and Nile left. And Nile as well. Wow. I know. We're gonna find out. We're gonna talk. Find out what happened there. Oh, good. Get to the bottom of it. Get that. to the bottom of this. I story. blame Ariana. I want. <laughs> I do. I want the investigative reporting that only you can provide. No, we love Roku. Every time anybody asks me, and I know the audience at home will, will concur. I always say, just go easy, do the simplest thing that gives you the most content. The Roku box, I have one on every one of my TV. You're not a sponsor, but I still love you. I love you too, Leo. Right. You have a you great Brian. time. I'll see you tomorrow. Great, Brian. Thank yes, you. Brian Jacquet from Roku. Is this it upstairs? Hey, how you doing? Great to see you, Brett. How did Tweet House go? Oh, and Thomas from Sonos. Thomas Meyer from Sonos. Hey, You're bringing the wall by tomorrow. I hope so, yeah. How loud is that, mother? It blew my eardrums. I'm 20 S5s. loud. I can't wait. So we're going to have that at Momo's tomorrow. It's a bunch of Sonos S5s, 20 of them, in a sonic wall, all playing the same thing. Yeah, whatever you want it to play, Leo, it'll play. You know, I have five S5s at home. I love my S5s. Everything you've done for us, Leo. We love it. It's good to see you. Is it up here that we go? Oh, my God, it's Chad. Hey, Leo, how's it going? Now, you must be able to get me in the VIP room. I can. I can. I can show you where it is. Hey, Joe on, buddy. It's nice to see you. Even better. Thank it's you for coming. You. Thank it's you. Good to see you. Here. You guys do it a great event every year. Jim Ladderback, of course, CEO of Revision 3. Every year, this event gets bigger and better. Every year. Yeah, how do you do it? I'm doing good. We've had a lot of fun. Well, and you know how live events are? It's like you work and work and work and stress, and then when it starts going... There's not a heck of a lot you can do, but just ride. Just have a good time. So the stress level's lower. Good. We're taking care of some good guests. You are a very important guest to us. Well, we're having a good time. We and I'm here with Tom Merritt. Yeah, Tom Merritt, Lisa hey. Bettany. Hey. So the whole gang is here. Hey, See ya, Jim. Bye. Jim got us into the VIP room. Awesome. I have a, I have a wristband. So VIP. VIP. All right, let's go. Onward. I feel this is like a... Uh...
and Trey Ratcliffe. Hey, the photo walk tomorrow, 500 people. We're coming by. We'll stop by and say hello to you. We got the world record guys here. They're going to take count. It's the world's be... largest photo walk. It's going to be huge. Is it too to late you. to join it? No. Come on, it's free. People are watching at home. If they're in the area, where should they go? Go to the Driscoll at 630. Tomorrow any, night. Yeah, any age, any skill level, bring your iPhone. It's just a great celebration of photography. 630, Sunday night, March 13th at the Driscoll. They're going to walk over to Momo's, That's and right. we're going to go outside and say hi. Yes, sir. It'll be I great. It. It's great to see All you. Right, good to Thank see you, you, Trey. Trey Lightcliffe, stuck at customs.com. Here's OMG Chad. Here we go. These are the golden steps to the VIP. Oh, my God. It's like ascending to heaven. Now, do you want to go Chad. first? Follow Chad. All right. We're going to follow Chad. Oh, this is so exciting. This is exciting. So up here, this is uh, where um, uh, Stubbs do, 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 is, has their actual restaurant. So, so we have to fight the restaurant personnel to get to the VIP. It's, yeah. the, it's the restroom. It's the restroom, yeah, definitely. You know, people are. So are people actually eating here? Yeah, there are. See, you can, this was a reserved table for So these, these poor people reserved the table exactly. thinking they were going to have a nice, quiet meal. Exactly. And instead, it's just a zoo. And instead, television crews coming in here. You it's got just celebrities. Wild. But you know, definitely. the food is really great at Stubbs. Really I want to give them a plug. It's the, be it's the best barbecue in town. I love it. So I'm glad to be able to come here. It's so great. Hey, here's the folks from the URDB. I am not crowd surfing again. You beat your record. I emailed you. I want you so much. Yeah, I'm not going to do it again. But may, maybe I can think of something else to do. I don't know. Eat the world's largest piece of wood or something. Just, you know, anything different. That would be it. So how many records have you certified so far at South by? Uh, we've certified about a dozen, and we're doing, we're doing an event with Livestrong tomorrow. We've got another 12 all lined up. So It's amazing. I mean, this is the place for record-breaking. Well, everywhere. We're, we have records from over 50 countries now, so we're really defining ourselves as the new home of world records. So great. Congratulations. You guys are doing wonderful. That's really you, great. Yeah. It's nice to see you. All right, we're going to follow the uh, – follow. I don't know where we're going. We, yeah, keep Chad, going. show us. Where should we go? So this way there's a, a bridge, uh, and uh, we've already talked to the people to get you guys in. All right, so we'll be able to go over the bridge. Oh, wait a minute. I recognize this guy. Oh, I, I get – Am I supposed to say, oh, uh, 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 look at this guy, look at this guy. I, uh, what the hell? Mr. Laporte, how, how you doing? doing? I'm good, Great I'm good. to see you. I know the bouncer. Uh, Brian, yeah. uh, I do a show on Revision 3. Uh, top, top, it's top five. Don't, don't, don't try to sell it. Don't try to sell it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Jason Calacanis is over there. We've got to say hi. We got three. Like there's a weight issue, they're at capacity. I understand. We don't want to break it. So you, you seriously got a lot of people out there then. There's, you got a weight issue on that. Tom, you yeah. go in. You go in. I'm going to give it to you. And he said, I'm not going out there on that collapsing platform anymore. I'm going to... All right. Thank you. All right. I cannot... Can you take these off my face? Of course, Tom. Thank you, Chad. All right. So they closed the door on Leo. I don't believe this. Literally, they, they, they don't let anyone in. This is the most exclusive party okay. at Revision 3. But here, if you take a look, the, the, the reason for it is you've got, you've got wood, right? And that can... Hi. Are you okay? I didn't... Is it the glasses? Thank you. Thank you very much. I thought maybe it was the glasses were causing a seizure or something. I saw, I saw the beard. I saw oh, the beard. Yeah. Really? It's just the beard? Hi, I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Ashley. Nice, nice to meet you, Ashley. Yes, I love your beard. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I grew it myself. <laughs> this means half. And I believe this is P. Delahanty. Yes, yes, Patrick Delahanty. How's it going? Now, wait a minute. Do you realize, P. Delahanty, listener and supporter of NSFW show, that you are in the VIP lounge of Revision 3 and Leo Laporte has not been allowed in? I, I was just looking for the bathroom. I. Wow. Maybe you should give him some tips. Now, was it because of Apple that he wasn't allowed in? Are they sharing? No, they were gonna. They, they said that there's that this will collapse if they allow any more people in here. <laughs> well, maybe we should get this guy with the spiky hair to leave. Okay, yeah, let's bring let's bring Brian Brushwood into this uh, situation. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, no, but I you know. I was just about to close a multi million dollar deal. I actually I would be sponsored by Jesus, and you just screwed it up. So what do you got for me, Merritt? I've got we're sponsored by FreshBooks at FreshBooks.com, where you can do invoices. FreshBooks, you actually use. 
Dude, I signed up for them. I don't know if I told you this, but when I found out they were a sponsor for the live coverage here at South by Southwest, while I was working out on a, a, a treadmill, I signed up for FreshBooks. Guess how long it took? Ah, uh, days. Couple days? No, I don't run for days. Come on, Merrick. Six, six or eight hours. No, dude, who can run for six or eight hours? You're, you're, you're kind of a master. You're in good shape. I am in terrible shape, and I was able to sign up in less than ten minutes. No kidding. But what's the point of it? No, here's the thing. I didn't even have to give them my credit card or nothing. I just signed up. I opened an account. They allowed me to invoice up to three different companies. And you and I know, we I only have three different clients. So I'm skating free on this thing. Okay. These guys put together professional-looking invoices. None of that hokey word, you know, typing in, and you forget to replace the address from the last person you used the template for, and you send it off. They're like, well, we thought we sent you the check, but you had the wrong address. All right, all right, I get it. This makes you look professional, and it's inexpensive, and it gets you your money and credit card or PayPal or however you want. But do they give you cake? You know what? You're not going to believe this, Tom. You're not dead. Dude, this entire month, they are giving away birthday cakes, whether it's your birthday or not. It's as if I didn't know that. No, seriously. What is the best part about your birthday? Cake. That's right. Actually, I like pie, but cake. What's the worst part about your birthday? Not getting pie? No. Or cake? One year closer to your own death. So, wait, the best thing would be to get cake, but not be a year closer to your death. That's what I'm saying. They allow you to have the entire experience of having your birthday. You get the cake, only you don't march one year closer to your own demise. How great is FreshBooks? That is so great that we should make them our sponsor. You know what? They should sponsor this. Which they did. And they should. And they did. They should. They're our sponsor. They should. They sponsor. They are. They sponsor this guy. They are our sponsor, and in fact, what you should do is go to FreshBooks right now, sign up for your trial. The trial's totally free. You've got up to three clients, and in that little thing where it says, where did you hear about us? Four letters, bro. T-W-I-T. That's all you got to type. Put Twit on there. They'll know that we're the one who drove them over there. They're awesome. Okay. Here's another challenge for you. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. What was your name again? Ashley. Ashley? Ashley? Okay. Ashley? She, she, well, that's what makes it real. Are you really? Yes, she I really am. is. She's looking up FreshBooks.com. That's awesome. She actually really was. That's awesome. That's really, yeah. she was cake? Yes. And she's like, cake? Hold on. I don't even invoice things. I f***ing love cake. <laughs> so we need your help because they because of the space limitations out here, they would not let Leo into the VIP here. Wait, are you saying that Leo's too big for the v I am not saying that at all. I'm saying they only would allow one, and they need someone to help him figure out how to get past the security guard. I see. Well, I'll tell you, we did our best to lay the groundwork here, but let's go ahead. I know that we got a lot of friends of the show over here. Let's, let's see who we can find here in the VIP. Uh, we're going to search for some answers here. No lie. Guess who has already been here? Who? Guess this? Uh, Callie Lewis. I definitely, well, of course. Zadi Diaz. Of course, both of them. Both of them, of course. Eileen Rivera. Of course, yes. She hasn't been here. I lied. Two years ago. She, that, was, that was a test question. That, that, that was two years ago. Kevin Rose. Uh, well, Kevin Rose, of course. But uh, Demi Moore just walked past right. Ashton Kutcher. And Ashton Kutcher walked past right here. And Pee Wee MF and Herman. Uh, you mean Paul Rubens? Paul Rubens. Walked right past right there. All right, so we need to figure out how we get Leo. I think Tony Say from uh, from Zappos is still here. Let's see if we can find him. I see, uh, I see your wife. Where's my wife? The invisible wife? She's right. Oh, no. We're not going to show I see David Spark. Whoa, David Spark, Sparks Media. Get over here. Hey, What's hey. going on? Holy crap. Hey, hey, how amazing. You how are you doing, David? Great I'm doing great. You did a great show tonight. Dude, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Wow, somebody's a fan. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Definitely saw you in line for the VIP room. Did you have to wait a long time? I had to wait a little while. There was a fire code issue here. Fire code. Right. Did you have to wait? Uh, I I actually was allowed in because Leo allowed me to go in instead of him. So we're trying to figure out how we could get him in instead. Is he still outside? Yes, he is. I'll be right back. <laughs> get Leo in here. Because I need to. I'll, I, I you you and it was a challenge. I put it this way. Leo was about to go in and he went. No, you go in. That was. Very it was very gentlemanly, but also there was a little bit of and you'll figure out how to get me. I know. I know my job. Here is to figure out how we can also get Leo in here. Uh, well, it looks like Leo's coming in right now. 
Aha! Look at that! See, now would I let you down? I heard Pee Wee Herman was in here. And Ashton Kutch. And Jason Calacanis. And Demi Moore. Demi Moore's here? She wasn't. She follows me on Twitter, you know. Does she really? Does AK? Hi. Does A plus K? Oh, A plus K doesn't even know. You should talk to Demi. I would prefer to follow her than him. Don't you think? It's Kiki Stockhammer. I don't have a microphone. Yeah, you do. Where's your rubber suit? Um, I, I left it at home until tomorrow, Leo. Are you doing the thing tomorrow? Well, yeah, I'm coming over to see you tomorrow because oh, I heard good. that's one of the hottest things to go to at South by Southwest. That's awesome. Is the Leo Laporte show. Maybe you've heard of it. I don't know. Uh, Maybe. I've heard of it. I don't know. You know cool I don't know. If you're anything about anyone wanting to know about tech in the know, you have to go to the Leo Laporte uh, show. Says Kiki Stockhammer. With TV. TV. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're calling for me. They want me to crowd surf. I have to do it. So I'll take the mic. Will the mic go all the way? All right. Oh, my God. They're making me crowd surf. Are you kidding me? Take this. Take this. Take this. Uh, crowd surfing. They're making me do it. Oh, yeah, we got to do it again. All right, so what is the world record, and how many, how long would I have to do it to break the world record? What, what record? Oh, it is a no. It's the tall guy that knows. How many, how long would I have to do it to break the world record? Uh, what was your record from last year? Was I don't know. 30 seconds. But so we, a minute. Yeah. If you a minute? It, we'll all right, all right. So we got the guys from the, the Book of World Records here. All right, they're making me do it. Would you, you do sure? it with me? If, if you, if, would you do it with me? I'll do no, it with you. you would you? I'll do it with you. Would you? Can, I, I, I put tights on. Would you really? I'll They're going to kind of grab you, you know. Now, if, if I may, I don't want to stir the pot here, but last year, Leo set the award for crowd surfing while live 30 streaming. seconds, yeah. Yeah, of course. Uh, you realize there's a totally different category. What's the new one? Well, crowd surfing face down oh, for 30 yeah. seconds. With a hot chick. Yeah, they're all. Oh, you know what? I like you can be face up. This. You know what? Uh, you you, you come with up. me. You come with me. The co-ed, the co-ed crowd surfing. You guys co-ed co crowd co surfing. <laughs> all right, let me get the guys from right. the URD. So here's down the deal. We'll, do we'll set this up because they're doing their last story. I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna say, look, we gotta do something different. We gotta do something different. Okay. Wait a minute. What if we did co-ed crowd surfing and then go. I got some, I got just the right person that I'll bring you out. Are you down? You don't have to do it. Okay, this is better than the tattoo. Okay, now I'm well, going to it. It's this or a tattoo, so let's please, let's do this. <laughs> I'm going to run up and get our friends for the URDB to come down and certify they said, this. They because... said if it's longer than 30 seconds, but no one's ever done a co-ed. No, co-ed, brand new. I'm, an, I'm not. All right, I'm, I'm taking. It's yours. I'll be right All right, <laughs> okay. Get our buddies for the All right, All right get All ready. Right. Oh my God! This is a uh, uh, unheard of. Leo, you're very brave. <laughs> well, I did, really didn't want you to get that tattoo. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so we're kind of backstage right now. They're doing one last story, and the, and the crowd, frankly, has been like chanting my name. I don't. I'm doing amazing. Kevin. I like so, part of that hug. 
Oh, that's awesome. That rocks. Right on, dude. Right on. He's the first guy I'm going to land on. Yes. You've got to crash or forget. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes. All right. Now, I was thinking, I already did the crowd surf thing, right? Oh, yeah. So what can I do that's different? What can you do that's different? Co-ed crowd surfing. Lisa Bentley, come on out here. Lisa Bentley, we're going to throw her in there and me. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah. You bet. I'm going face down. You've done... <laughs> Are you guys going to come? Are you guys going to come with me? Uh, yes. Let's, 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 all let's all go. Oh, they're loving it. We've got the people from the, uh, U, the URDB, the, the records database, the universe. What is it? Universal record database. URDB. URDB. We have to do more than 30. Brian Get out of here. Brian, you too. All right. Let's do it. We're going to do five people. Five people. Now, here, here. You ready? I wasn't going to do it, dude. All right, I'm going in there. the wildest thing I've ever done. Oh, my God. Uh, holy cow. Look at, here you go. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you, guys. Oh, my God. That was wild. The funniest thing is, what did you, what did you think? I thought there was a certain point where I'm like, are they going to drop me? But... I thought they were going to drop you. Seriously, there's too much weight. There's all of us at once. It was really, that was we, we, that was a very different experience. They barely kept us alive. There was too much chaos because there wasn't one thing to focus on. There were so many bodies and nobody knew when it was coming. And down. we were going to cross streams. Let me, let me ask like, you guys. Oh, man. Is that the largest number of people who have crowd surfed at one time? Oh, I guess no. No, well, uh, I just saw Jason go get, let's get a drink poured on him by somebody. Oh, that must be uh, painful. Yeah, as is Jason, probably. <laughs> he went back upstairs, huh? Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Well, I didn't expect to do that again, to be honest. No, well, I was concerned when... when... It was it Prager? Prager? 
Lisa, me, Brushwood, Kevin, Alex, and Prager. So Prager, uh, Prager stood in for me then. Yeah. He, he took my play. He seconded me. I feel bad. I, I don't, where were you? I was upstairs. So. He was in the VIP room. See, never go to the VIP room. <laughs> I was, whatever a uh, shred of integrity I have left after being on NSFW show, <laughs> I was trying to preserve. <laughs> Lisa just didn't want me to get a tattoo, and I bless you, Lisa, because <laughs> this I probably can expunge from my memory well at some point. Well yes, yes, She did a great job. You know, that's kidding. a scary thing. Yeah. She, yeah. she went out yeah, there. Yeah, my figure skating experience, I just no. kept Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, where next? Triple sow cow. <laughs> where next? Let's see. Look we at that. We got a badge, too. Oh, really? Now, what was the record? Tomorrow you Most. come to mine. Yes, yes sir. All right. I, I'm going to crowd surf a much smaller audience tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to need you guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you. My pleasure. Nice to meet you. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Oh, my goodness. I think I scream the entire time. Me, too. You, <laughs> is that what you do? You, go, ah! you scream like a girl. Ah! Well, it, it felt like I was going to fall at some point. Well, I have to say, it was very different from my experience last year where I was really solidly supported. There were so many people that the crowd, uh, Brian theory was that the crowd couldn't focus on who they were holding. Yeah. So sometimes it was like we were going downhill. And then they, I mean, it was very scary, but we survived. We survived, an and, and we have a good story to tell. Wow, and I don't have a tattoo. <laughs> Jeff, why didn't you come with us? Jeff Jarvis. They were screaming your name. Does this mean I have to get a tattoo now? Pretty yeah. Much. You have to top that. Holy cow. That was an amazing experience, I have to say. All right. We're going to go on. Parties continue. We're not done yet. Uh, normally, I, we were planning on turning off the camera at this point. Wait a minute. Is it? Is it? Are we a lot? Oh, no. That's just, a, that's just a, his butt. Are we okay? Okay. I, I'm looking at Brent's uh, camera pack, and it looks like something's going on there, but... It's the nice thing about our audience is that, that people are really into They're cool for what we do. Yeah. And it's right. not celebrity following right. or right. some right. weird motivation. Yeah, screensavers, man. Nice to meet you, dude. Uh, point in case. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Mark. Nice so, to meet you, Mark. Momo's tomorrow, right? Momo's tomorrow. All right. I'm coming out to see you guys. All right. We're going to have a problem. We only have 380 seats. And I, there's, I think uh, we might have needed more seats. I think there are going to be more people than we can uh, fit in. But that's going to be fun. Better to have an over... Yeah. Uh -oh. Can you convince my boyfriend to let me get an iPad too? What? Now wait a minute. Now wait a minute. Now you 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 told me that you're going to New Zealand. You're going to leave your poor girl yes. all alone. For how long are you going? Uh, about a week. That's only a week, dear. Yeah, you'll be fine. A week. Maybe you go. He was in Iraq for 18 months. 18 I can't months. Deal. He, I can't deal with any more. Now were you in the Corps in Iraq? Yes, I was. And see, now you served our country. We we really we we got to get this girl an iPad. Can okay. I but give her an I iPad in your name? Can that. I give her an iPad in your name? Do you have a card? Let me get a card, and we're going to send you an iPad. How about that? You give me a card. What kind of iPad do you want, dude? I just wanted the Wi-Fi, the 32 gig. 32 gig white. Do you want to have Verizon, AT&T, or Wi-Fi? Just Wi-Fi. Just Wi-Fi. White or black? White. All right, we're going to send you one. Thanks so much. Just give me your card. We'll send you one. Well, you know what? He, he already worked hard in Iraq. He's going away. Email me, leo at leoville.com. I remember your name. You just send me your send me the email, all right? All right. We'll send you one, all right? Thanks. Love you. I love you. Take care. All right. I can't let her go without an iPad. That's just wrong. And Chili wants the Wi-Fi 32 gig. That's you know, all. She's like, I know what I need. She didn't want. She could have asked for the moon. Yeah, right. She could have asked for the most expensive one. She knows what she wants. Remember that. White. Did she say white or black? White 32 gig, gig Wi-Fi. All right. I got it. All right. You know, I don't know what's going on. We're having a little difficulty getting bandwidth here. Probably uh, everybody's four squaring and gawala right, right, right. But uh, so I think what we should do is uh, take it, take it, uh, take it home. Off? Take it off. No, take it all home. Oh, take it we're all. We're done. I think yeah. we're done. What do you think? Is we just? I, 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 I mean, how can we top the crowd? Can't surfing, top a really? mass crowd yeah. surf. Yeah. No party is gonna like compare with that. We've got tomorrow night too. That we. Oh got yeah, we're not done. We'll be back tomorrow. In fact, if you're in the area, come to Momo's. We begin at one o'clock. I'll be doing the Tech Guy show if my voice comes back. At 4 o'clock, you're doing TNT. That's right. We're doing Tech, tech News Today and then Twit right afterwards. At 5 o'clock, we'll all be there for Twit. In fact, a lot of people have told me they'll be there for Twit. In fact, I've about 1,000 people have told me that they're going to come to this 380-seat venue. So we might have a little bit of an overflow. It might overflow. be a line. It might be a line <laughs> next time we get stubs, all right? Lisa Bettany, you are such a great sport. It's so Thank fun. you so much. so fun to work with you. Tom Merritt, you're the best. 
Uh, we want to thank our fine sponsors, of course, Squarespace.com. Don't forget the exceptional website capabilities of Squarespace V6. We heard about it. It's going to be really awesome. And, by the way, you get the upgrade automatically if you're a Squarespace customer. And, of course, FreshBooks, the easy way to online invoice. It really is great. Thanks to LiveU, too, for making it possible for us to walk around, to crowd surf, to do this broadcast from the streets of Austin without any wires. We couldn't do it without LiveU. LiveU, we salute you. Thanks to Brett Bayou, who's been carrying the camera all day. Our wonderful producer, Eileen Rivera. John Slanina, who's carrying the batteries. Breck, <laughs> uh, Burke McQuinn is back at the studio holding down the fort. Uh, of course, the executive producer, uh, Lisa Kensel, and uh, everybody. And Jeff Jarvis for just being here. For Jason Howell. Moral support. Moral support. <laughs> Jason Howell for, for, for backing us up. Uh, he's our muscle. Thank you, everybody. Thank we'll be you. back from Austin tomorrow. Have a great evening. Bye-bye. <laughs>